So when you log in, it should say Wi-Fi settings or to the controls. Okay, once you go to the controls, then this should show up right here. Okay, so the web interface, uh, you might have an effect already set up. So you can go to effects here, which is one of the tabs down here. And there are 1D effects, right? Just shows the ones that react to music and 2D effects. So as we talk here, it, uh, it starts showing some uh, reaction. Hey, check, check. So that one's not, uh, not so active. Let's see if that one's any better. Yeah, that one's a little bit better. <laughs> okay. But yeah, there's lots of different ones here. So, you know, go around, try them out. Also, like this right here, these are just yellow. Make sure to go to colors and, like, like pick a palette here. So I like to go through all the colors. So I'm going to select rainbow. Okay. So now it's going to show all sorts of colors. I'm going to go back to effects on bottom here. And I'll pick this. Sure. And 2D Akemi doesn't show up right on a, on a little screen like this. So if you have a 16 by 16, it's going to show this little octopus or this little LED guy. It'll look very familiar if you've seen the WLED. But on an 8x8, it doesn't quite show up right. Let's see. There we go. Just a plain old bars here. So, yeah. All you got to do is go through these things here. Uh, there's all sorts of effects. There's all sorts of colors and color palettes you can choose from. Uh you can also save them as presets. So let's, uh, I want to play some music here. Okay. Maybe I'll put, there we go. There's some music. Cool. Okay. This is, uh, Chemicals Between Us by Bush. Cool. Got nice little pulses. So once I find something I like, like, I get the effect set right. Now, this one has all sorts of things I can adjust. So, ripple decay, right? Bar speed and bands. So, this only has eight bands right here. Let's go to... Let's go less bands. See if we can do that. Oh, that's one band, right? Let's see. Oh, there's four bands. <laughs> there's many more bands. Let's see. I think it has to be a multiple of eight to work right on here. There we go. There we go. There's eight bands. Cool. So yeah, let's say let's say I got the effect I like. I've got the color I like. I can go to presets and hit create preset. I can put a name on it if I want, and then I'll save it. And then what I can do is I can go to config here and go to LED preferences and whenever this thing boots so this is where I set everything up right let's see come down there we go apply preset one at boot so I'm gonna type in one and I'm gonna save this okay go back so now if I were to hit reset on the board here let's go to config Security updates and do a reboot. Wherever the reboot is. There it is. Save and reboot. So there it goes. Just rebooted into this. That little pause was it connecting to the Wi Fi. And now we're back. So, yeah, go feel free to like play around. Uh, there's tons of different effects, different things you can do in here. Don't, uh, don't mess too much in like like the width and height like that's all set there and the the length like in the GPIO like if you change those it's going to stop working it's easy to get it back you just put those back in but make sure you don't mess with those unless you really know what you're doing okay and then sound settings don't mess with these pins either these are all set cool 
So yeah, there's uh, time and macros. You can say every day at this hour, this minute, this second. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it'll play a certain preset. So like at 8 p.m. when it's time to quit or when it's time to do something, I can say, let's see, so 8 p.m., that would be 20, right? That'd be 20, zero, preset, two, right, if I had a second preset. And that's just Monday, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so not Saturday, not Sunday. And then I wanted to do it for five minutes, right? So let's go 20 minute or 20 hours, five minutes. I wanted to do go back to preset one, right? So for five minutes, it'll run preset two, right? And then it'll go back to preset one. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back. Let's uh, let's go to effects. Let's find it just a two D effect. Let's see, maybe. Oh, those are pretty cool. This has got five on it by Loonies here. There we go. That's a cool one. Maybe. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. Choose. I'll just use something here. Sure, that's fine. And then I'll go to presets and I'll create a preset and I want to use current state, hit save. There we go. So now, typically it's preset one, right? So at 8 p.m., it'll run preset two for five minutes. I'm just tapping this or clicking on it, All right? And then I'll go back to preset one. Yeah, so it could be just a 2D thing, right? Like. Just the matrix thing. I don't know. There's lots of different things to play with. And then these are all the 1Ds down here, which still look cool, especially like uh, 1D fireworks. Fireworks 1D. Where is that? There it is. That one's fun. So it looks like it's shooting up this little firework and then boom, color. <laughs> Thought that was well made. Some of them like, okay, well, let's go to dissolve. Dissolve literally just dissolves, right? So it's playing something right here, right? Then I'm going to click it, and it just dissolves it out. So it's not an actual... Oh, I guess it is. Never mind. Okay, it pops it up. Okay. Yeah, some of these aren't, uh, like, I guess, what's it called? Uh, like, great? <laughs> like, interesting? Like, some of them? But a lot of them are, especially if you put the right colors with the right effects. It, it can do really cool stuff. So let's go uh, Let's go back to one of these 2Ds. Sure, we'll do fire. There we go. And, yeah, bring that brightness way down. Cool. All right. So when we get more, we can sync them up. We can put a timer to tell it to turn off in like a while. Uh, yeah, so that's it here. All right? Info on what's going on. Config. I guess there's a. Uh, let's see. So, Wi Fi setup. That's how you connect to Wi Fi. LED preferences. That's how you tell it what pin on the microcontroller and how many LEDs you have. That's all good. Sound settings we saw, which is just settings for the sound. So. Yours should be set correctly. If you want to play with it, you can. Just make sure you remember how to put it back. Let's see. User interface. That's just preferences. Sync interfaces. So that's an interesting one. We can... Uh, so it won't work with Alexa here. I don't have that enabled in firmware. You can if you uh, recompile and put it on. But yeah, Alexa won't work on this. Okay. But it can take some other pushes. Like, let's see, it can take, yeah, whatever is it here? I guess it's not on here. But, yeah, it can take uh, take JSON pushes, so you can have external programs control this thing. Let's see, time and macros, we saw that. So I can connect to uh, 
the time. I guess we should connect it right. So I'm US uh, PST PDT. There it is. Okay, cool. All right, and I can tell it exactly where I am, and I can do things on the sunset and sunrise. So like once the sun goes down, now all the lights in my yard turn on. But once the sun once the sun rises, it'll turn them all off. So I could have a preset a preset with nothing on, and a preset with uh, I don't know my Christmas lights, <laughs> so it can run all night. So yeah, stuff like that here. I could add buttons if I wanted, but I didn't add buttons to this setup. Anyways, let's hit save that. And yeah, I can upload special programs to this, and then I can update it over here. So 13.1's been out for a while. It's been stable. Haven't heard news of anything else coming out. So when it does, I can go through and update all, like, over the Wi-Fi. So, yeah. So basically, you're going to be hanging out over here in the colors, the effects. And... Segments, you don't really need to mess with that. If I had, like, multiple uh, panels, I could play with segments. And then, when, yeah, once you save them, you can go between the ones you like. Anyways, have fun with it. <laughs>